Once upon a time, there was a savage named Simon. He lived in the Pacific Ocean, which was covered with plastic. He spent his days escaping from his predator. There was a fisherman named Jafar. Every day he was on his road to fish. All he caught was plastic. He needed to catch fish to feed his family, but he couldn't find any. Unfortunately, Finn got caught in pieces of plastic and was struggling to free himself. Then Jafar sees Finn the shark wandering around in plastic. While Finn the shark was stuck in garbage, Jafar picked up Simon who was covered in plastic and injured. Good, I will take you home. Thank you, old man. Jafar put Simon into a package and took him home. Jafar treated him and put him into a fish tank. Here is your new home. Whoa, this is such a clean fish tank. Simon liked his new home very much. In aquarium he met new friends. Here is your new home. Hi, who are you? I'm Simon. I'm from the ocean, but there is a problem. And what problems? There is a lot of plastic in the ocean. The water is polluted. Oh, oh we can't believe you! The time passed and Simon got better. He was happy and fast. I will let you go. Jafar took him back to the ocean. Goodbye. Thank you for treating me, Jafar. You're welcome. Bye. But when Simon got back into the ocean, he felt very bad. Oh, I can't breathe. Help, help. How can I help you? And Jafar started thinking how uh, uh, he can help Simon. As you can see, Simon here is surrounded by plastic. He also thinks one of these plastic junk is food. Yum, he thinks delicious algae. Simon swims through the sea of plastic bags. He sees a green bottle coming towards him. Let me eat the cap, says Simon. I haven't ate in such a long time. He bites the cap because he thinks it's algae. Simon bit into the plastic. Simon didn't realize that the plastic wasn't algae. Simon felt hurt, scared, and worried. While Simon was bleeding in pain, Finn smelled blood, and even though he was covered in plastic, he tried to take a bite out of Simon, but accidentally took a bite out of the hard plastic bottle. Ouch, he shouted, and then he realized his gums were dripping blood into the water. The plastic bottle is stuck in Finn's throat. He cannot breathe. It is, it is also blocking his skills. Simon and Finn both look to be in terrible condition. Simon is ble bleeding terribly and Finn is also choking. Oh Finn, look, there are divers. Many they can help us. There are two fish in danger. Let's save them. Oh my god, Finn, can you see the submarines? The submarines clear the ocean with spe special plastic collecting devices and nets to collect all of our plastics, bags and cars. But what are they going to do with all the plastic? Don't worry, we, we have an idea. We present you the most special bracelet. The process of this bracelet is to collect all the plastic that is in the sea, and from the plastic we have the bracelets. The money that is wasted goes to the animals that die because of the plastic that is in the sea. The apples appear on TV. Everybody talks about this. Some teenagers are cleaning up the beach because they watch a video with some fish that eat plastic and die. They buy the Save Sea bracelet to help animals. One of the journalists is talking about the importance of cleaning the ocean and about the 17 girls, in particular girl 14. The ocean is finally clean and the fish can swim with teenagers. Simon is happy because he can get real healthy food. The journalist is giving the prizes to teenagers that help to, the, to clean the ocean. They come from Ukraine, Spain, Italy, Hong Kong and Canada. When the sea is clean, the journalist publishes a documentary of the clean up. How are the teenagers 